All right, so Everett's about to start cleaning the hot water heater, and I'm gonna get him to tell us why it's important to get the hot water heater cleaned. So we're gonna wanna service your water heater um, for a couple of reasons. One, um, there's gonna be calcium, maybe some rust, um, you know, inside your, uh, uh, inside your water heater tank. And it's going to be um, something that you wanna get out of there. There's, I've worked on some where it was so packed full of calcium that they were missing a gallon of water, you know, and that their element wasn't able to uh, heat correctly. The thing is we want that, uh, that environment to be really cleaned out. Um, nothing interfering with your burners, your elements, um, and uh, just have a clean operating tank. The other thing we want to do uh, um, is uh, to check the condition of uh, your tank. If we're getting a lot of rust out of there, I mean, something's getting eaten up on the inside. Um, we also want to be able to check to see if you have an anode. Some tanks like Dometics and Atwoods don't have anodes in them. Uh, they do make an anode to put in there, replaces the plug, and I think that's something we're going to be doing on this uh, today. Yeah, because our tank does not have an... Yeah, it does not have an anode on it. Um, having an anode in there is, uh, is a critical thing to have. Um, that hard water is looking for something to eat. Yes, the tank itself may be, uh, you know, glass lined, porcelain lined, um, uh, might be something that they state is a, uh, um, it's bulletproof, it's gonna be just fine. That may be true, but your electric heating elements and your, uh, your burner tubes, all of those are uh, um, still made out of aluminum, something for it to eat. That is direct contact. You don't want it eaten through your, your elements, causing you bills to come through later down the road. Clean them out, replace your anodes, check your anodes, and uh, make sure everything's good to go. All right, so we're gonna let the pressure off there. And we're gonna work on this. I like having a piece of PVC here so we can uh, shoot the water where we want it to and uh, actually see what's coming out. So we're just emptying the water out that's in there. We'll come back when we start cleaning it. Let's see if there's anything immediate in this right here. Get these threads, get them cleaned off, get up in there and see if we can get um, around those elements. Looking pretty good so far. Now this is something I do clean yearly myself. So we'll see if I did a good job. It's been about six months. So we're going to stick the wand up in there. We're going to go in from the bottom side. I like that yeah, that pipe there is... Some of them are designed really nice. Some of them are a pain in the butt. Oh, well, there we go. Is that rust or calcium? That looks like rust. That's not good. We'll check it out. There's a good, there's, you know, a good bit of calcium on this too. So... We'll get it rinsed out. We'll find out what it is. You see these little white specks on my hand here. Uh, these are going to be little deposits of calcium. There's one on the tube right there. Yeah. So we'll see what we get out of there. If you look at the water coming into the bucket, you can see that that's a uh, pretty dirty water. So we'll, we'll just spend some time rinsing this thing out and see what we can get out of it. Yeah, that's the water we bathe in. We're stirring it up off the bottom. So, you know, it happens, but uh, this is the reason that you always want to maintain your tanks, uh, such as your water heater, you know, take this wand, it's another thing you can find on Amazon, he'll post it in, uh, share it in a link below, um, but uh, something you can buy, something that's a good idea, pull the plug, drain your water heater, and uh, rinse it out, uh, keep, that, keep your tanks healthy, that's the biggest thing that we're all about, is keeping everything running the way it should. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. I just took a bath, y'all. Right here. I finally got the one for the year. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that tank fills up and they're gonna push you right out. So if you look around the tank, you can see the calcium deposits on the ground. There inside the uh, bucket, look at all the calcium that he got out of the tank. And I just cleaned this six months ago. 
myself. Now I doubt I did it as well as a professional, but I did it pretty good for an amateur. Looks like you got gold in there too. <laughs> Somehow or another I had some sand. Look at all that calcium on his hand. Uh, sand came in from a camp from the campground water somewhere between here and Yellowstone. I'm thinking it was when we stayed on the ranch up in West Yellowstone over the uh, the summer. But wow. All right, we got rinse number two going on. Somehow or another, you see, you got to check because we had sand in the system. So some campground, I guess, was on a well and did not do a very good job with filtering their water. This looks a lot better. When he yeah. gets to the bottom of the bucket, we'll check in. All right, this is bucket number two, and you can see the calcium floating in there. They're smaller particles, but you can still see down in there. A little more sand and uh, more calcium. getting it cleaned up it's pretty good all right this is the third and hopefully final rinse I don't know it's still got a good bit out yeah, a little bit we'll give it one more rinse and we should be good to go all right so uh, some tips and tricks like again this is a, uh, a piece of equipment you can buy off of Amazon it just goes on a regular regular garden hose um, when you're using this uh, you can build up a lot of pressure on the inside as you saw I kicked us out of the tank and we all got to take our showers for the month um, <laughs> what you want to do is when you're cleaning here you want to keep your finger on this gray bit of hose right here uh, because they do crack and I have a crack in mine and uh, you want to make sure that you uh, do not send that little gray piece flying up in there so keep a good finger on the top the tip of it when you're cleaning that way, you know, it's not going to fly off, go shooting on the inside. Uh, you can also just take a uh, hose band and wrap and tighten it around on this and keep uh, keep it on there and uh, secure. Uh, but that's some tips and tricks about using the, uh, the wand for uh, your water heater. All right, so there's just a few little particles in there. And, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, we might give it another rinse. One more rinse. Evidently, I did a very lousy job when I did it myself. All right, so a couple of things about anodes. This is an anode for an Atwood or a Dometic. Uh, we do recommend Camco because they do have a, uh, um, a much better build quality and they use good materials. Um, what you need to look for when you're going through uh, to check your anodes, and your these are all from a uh, um, suburban water heater, uh, but it will, it'll act about the same on an Atwood or a Dometic. This is one um, where you want to go ahead and start taking a look at ordering one um, and getting one for the next month, getting ready to put one in. This is a, a good level of uh, chewing on it. It's eating away at it. And how old um, would you say that one was? This one was about six months. Okay. So, and then there's this one. This one's probably about a year. Uh, we're getting a little past the usable life for sure. Uh, once you start exposing the actual metal itself on here, uh, it's definitely time to uh, get one in there. And this is about uh, three years past done. Um, <laughs> it actually started eating the uh, the the rod on the inside. Um, but uh, so make sure you replace it before you get to this or this. Start getting one on order when it's about here. And uh, so we're going to put a, uh, a new um, Camco anode into uh, this uh, uh, Atwood or Dometic uh, water heater. So I'll link one down below, but make sure you get the right size. Mine takes a four and a half inch. Yep. And the uh, the uh, Suburbans take a, uh, a nine inch. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this in here. So you want to put the Teflon tape on it? Yep. Get that in there. Now I do too many of these, so I just made that look really, really simple. Uh, yes, you will fight trying to get it in there, but uh, I do, you know, close to seven of these a day. So getting it threaded in there, make sure you get it threaded correctly and not cross it. And what size bolt is that? So when you get your um, handy dandy socket set to tighten it, seven eighths, that says. It's gonna be a seven eighths to uh, get that threaded on there. And your, uh, um, your, uh, plastic washer on here is going to be a uh, uh, 5 16 
All right, let's tighten her down. You gotta get it going in the right direction. All right, y'all don't need to see him tighten it all the way down. I'll make sure it's tight for you. So he just said to make sure and leave the uh, vent cap open when you turn the water back on. Of course, we turned the water off when we drained the hot water heater. And then once the water, once it fills up, you've gotten all the air out of the system, then you close that down. All right, so it filled up. We're gonna press on that to make sure that it's got a good seat. If it's still dripping, you know, give it a bump and then do it again. Let it drain out. Then we're going to check over here, make sure we don't have any water coming out there. If both of those are done dripping, then we're good to go and your water heater has been serviced. Again, that's another one of those services that Clean Tank provides uh, free of charge with the cleaning. All right, so most of us carry um, stuff on our trucks, usually the anodes. Uh, we will carry the save a drop water meters, the, uh, the wands. Now, all of this stuff can be found on Amazon. Um, and uh, some that we do recommend that you have with, uh, with your, your rigs, keep them clean, keep them going. Um, again, everything on Amazon uh, with that, uh, also the uh, Volterra Flush King um, in combination with this, help you maintain that. Your, uh, your flush wand for the uh, um, hot, hot water, water heater and your anodes for the hot water heater and you can even get these little brushes for your hot water heater so and i'll list all that stuff in the description it's really about the education of how to take care of your rigs and uh, we want to put that first in everybody's minds so that's clean k-l-e-e-n tank t-a-n-k dot com that is correct okay and there's a link in there to uh, be able to uh, find a dealer near you By all means, we have a huge network of uh, clean tankers across the United States, and uh, we are probably, you know, able to come and find you and get you service somewhere in a town near you. So let us know. Check us out on cleantank.com, and uh, uh, appreciate you having me out here today. Well, thank you very much for cleaning my tanks out and for educating our viewers on proper maintenance techniques. Yeah. Till next time, everybody. Stay safe and happy camping.